picture this. You've just started the sixth grade. You've got your backpack. Your bangs have been trimmed. And to really seal the deal, you have new school shoes. But these aren't just any old sneakers. These shoes tell a story. So we, I wanted Converse, and I went to Converse.com. And I saw there was a thing where you could custom make some shoes. 11-year-old James Reed likes math, video games. He also has an artistic side. I custom made my shoes, and I thought they were really cool. I can confirm. The shoes are cool, and James paid for them all yeah. on his own. Every single day, he was like, did they come? Did they come for two months? So when the shoes finally arrived... It was like Christmas. The multicolored Chuck Taylors looked even better than James had pictured, but not long after they arrived, the shoes went back into the box. That morning, I just said, hey, bud, why don't you wear your new shoes that you designed? They're so awesome. I said, do they not feel right? And um, the mood in our household changed. When the shoes debuted at school, they weren't interpreted as the one-of-a-kind sneakers James thought they would be seen as. Kids his age were calling him, you know, gay and his shoes gay and yelling at him down the hallway. How'd that make you feel? Not that good. James's mom, Leland, shared the story online. And within hours, the texts, emails, and phone calls changed the conversation around the shoes. People were reaching out to me that I didn't even know. More families than they realized could relate to their story. And at that point, I was like, this is not about shoelaces, being gay, you know, my son James. This is about community and how we can turn something negative and hurtful into something positive. Leland did what any mom would do. She ordered 300 pairs of rainbow shoelaces and set out to teach a lesson of acceptance. And I left the 300 pairs of shoelaces outside in a bin in front of my house. I put my address on Facebook and I would say within four days, there was five pairs left. And if James had to give advice to someone else in his shoes, here's what he'd say. Do what you want to do, and don't let anybody take put you down. In Missoula, Megan Mannering, MTN News.